the climate change is real. Over the past 50 years, the average global temperature has increased at the fastest rate in the recorded history. Along with global temperature rise, climate change is causing warming oceans, shrinking ice sets, glacial retreat, decreased snow cover, sea level rise, declining Arctic sea ice, extreme events, and ocean acidification. Small and beautiful, the South Asian country Nepal has a diverse and fragile ecology. High mountains including the highest one in the world, Mount Everest, in the north, and fertile lowlands in the south. Nepal is highly diverse, both geographically and ecologically. On the other hand, this beautiful and diverse nation is highly vulnerable to the effects of the climate change. Under various climate change scenarios of Nepal, mean temperatures are projected to increase between 1.8 to 5.8 degrees Celsius by 2090s, while the annual precipitation will reduce up to 20% across the country. Nepal is one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change, water in these disasters, and hydrometeorological extreme events such as droughts storms, floods, inundation, landslides, debris flow, soil erosion, and avalanches. Bake and Surkhet districts in midwestern region of Nepal are among the most vulnerable districts to climatic extremes in Nepal. Building Resilience and Climate Adaptive Planning in Urban Center of Nepal is a project being implemented in Nepalgon's sub-metropolitan city in Bake and Birendra Nagar municipality in Surkhet. The project aims at making urban centers of Nepal become more people-centered and resilient to climate change extremes and disasters. Arbonaut Limited in Finland, Oxfam in Nepal, Clean Energy Nepal, the Very Environmental Excellence Group in Nepalgons, and the Environment Development Society in Suket are working together to help communities both to mitigate and build resilience to climate change extremes. The program is funded by Nordic Climate Facility, an initiative of Nordic Development Fund. The project is helping public authorities to include climate sense adaptation and resilience in development plans. Furthermore, the project is supporting vulnerable households by providing climate adaptive alternative means of living. The project also aims at promoting climate adaptive and environmentally friendly business practices. Birender Nagar Municipality, a beautiful landscape of 246 square kilometers, provides a living space for more than 100,000 inhabitants. The area of municipality covers both high hills and plain lands. Birendranagar is situated in a very fragile ecology and is at risk of flash flood, landslide, and inundation. In August 2014, a devastating flood with landslides took many lives and destroyed many houses in Midwest Nepal. In Birendranagar, a total of 566 houses were completely and a total of 301 houses were partly destroyed at that time. The project has conducted a vulnerability risk assessment, which identified wards 10, 11, 12, 14, and 15 as highly vulnerable to climate change extremes. Focusing on these vulnerable areas, the project has been helping the local communities by different means.
The project has formed three women empowerment centers in Virendranagar. The Gauri Toll Women Empowerment Center is one of them. A total of 25 women of economically poor households which were built on unregistered land on the riverbanks were brought together and established a women empowerment center. This community had been severely hit by flood and is at risk of flash floods due to their residence on the riverbank. The project has granted 35,000 Nepalese rupees as seed money to this center to support the livelihood of the women. The grant is managed in the way that once a month the group of women meets and collects 50 rupees from each member which are added to the fund. The fund is given to a member for a fixed period of six months to support the startup of a business. After six months period is over, the money is written to the group, which hands it over to another member. By now, the fund has been helping this community to deal with their daily problems and to start a small business. They wished the grant would be bigger and they could start a larger business. The project has also financially supported environmentally friendly businesses and agriculture. Sito Agriculture and Livestock Group has been producing organic vegetables. With the help of the fund granted by the project, this group has expanded their farm in a systematic manner. यो काकरा पूरा ऑर्गेनिक था, बॉडी काकरा, घिरोला, इस पर सियार और लाइम्स में सीजन आसन, हमले इसमें कुने पनी विटामिन पर भी नगरे होना ले, ये में बॉडी समय भी अलग लॉन्ग समय लाई नहीं, और उत्पादन में पनी अब अलग समय लाख से दिन लाई, हमले यो बाजार में पहले से दिन देना, हमसे ये घर बन लेनी, इस � The project has also supported the Bhairam community user group who has established a climate adaptive herbs nursery. Seedlings of red pepper, bay leaves, asparagus, etc. are grown and sold in Surkhet and neighboring districts. This group aims to plant 100,000 seedlings in their own community forest. The nursery has not only been source of income for the group, but also helps to preserve the environment. I sleep for a brown mopony, Afima Jodi Buti Bokoli, Prabron Mopony, Elite Tio Puroni, Rob Kali Rega, Paka, Badi, one Chetravitra, Ela Roponagada, Yura Somogo, Ayazan Mopony, Bidiuni, Race Water, Rosgariga, Officer Rupuni, Susanoni, the Hinsar, I listen to Bokobunica. Rawili zaman itu sangat baik banli. Dikat mah kerip 4 lakh ko biru. Amni awal bicara kerja itu bani. Ibu bapa bani kerip abo itu tespat, tespasi Timur. Rawni jadi buti kerja. Amni logo jadi lakh ko apli ropan kerja bani jadi lakh ko. Amni le dikri kerja sega sam. Two sisters, Kamala Nepali and Bhagavati Nepali. From a marginalized and poor community are running a tailoring business in Birendranagar. 
After receiving a grant from the project, Usa Tailoring has been producing clothes bags that can be used as an alternative to plastic bags. Producing these bags has increased their earning and in addition it helps to reduce the excessive use of plastic bags in the city area. Project has been organizing trainings and interaction program for municipality employees, people's representatives and other members of civil society, which has helped the municipality to understand the basis of climate change and its aspects and to act accordingly. The project has helped stakeholders to understand the connection between climate change and urban development plans and actions, says Mayor of Birendra Nagar Municipality, Dev Kumar Subedi. Birendra Nagar Palikama, Yarko Jun Sakari Majun Jalvai, Anukul Tasaman Jun Karikam Sansan Bakos, two Karikam to Bijma, Hami Nirvaji to Iran, one of the pilot hills in Nagar Palika comes to Wago saying, I'm the proper to go into Kasiri, you eight Borsama. हमी संग सह कार्य करी रहा था। हम रू उत्तरी जलाधार क्षेत्र को रचें ही पानी संरक्षण रा बा पर्यावरण संरक्षण रा रचें ही तीस संग जोड़े रा हम रचें ही विकास निर्माण रा नीति संग ही चें उड़ा लगानी को पार्ट लाज बनी आगाडी बड़ा उन परसों बनने चें ही बुझाई भागो सर तिल्ले समग्र नगर को चें ही � कार्यक्रम बनाने वाला चाहिए, स्वयं पुण्य सब बनने चाहिए, मायले विश्वास वाले कुछ। भाईस मेयर मोहन माया ढकाल सेस दैट द प्रोजेक्ट हैज हेल्प टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्लाइमेटिक सिचुएशन ऑफ पिरेंद्र नगर म्युनिसिपलिटी। परियोजना संग आने जिन साझेदारी का रनवर पाली काले कार्यक्रम और उगारियो परियोजना ले जिन खाल को यहाँ को बस्ती स्थिति को बारे में यहाँ को अवस्था को बारे में अपनी हमें जानना बुझना को लागी पनी सपोर्ट करे कुछ Many donor organizations have been active in different socio-economic fields in Birendra Nagar. However, some places of Birendra Nagar are far from the reach of basic infrastructures such as roads and electricity. Due to droughts, many residents must travel more than an hour to get drinking water. <laughs> जेठ हमारे सोयत को मायना रहा, भागुन को मायना रहा, उसको जेठ को मायना सान, असार को मायना सान, उन्नत यहाँ असार को मायना जाग बने बजे, अन्य बल्ल नजिक पानी खाने पाए ने वो, नतर तक वो बरियाल बगर तो नू, तो नू गाला दिया दिया घंटा लाख से जाना। These remote places need more support from both government and donor organizations. The residents are criticizing the ineffectiveness of the social development programs. देरे ही सोरा रु आवश्यक आए तोरा अब एक चुटी आए फेरी फिरता भाई को रेकर्स है ना सर स्वास्थ्य ले गरीब का स्वाइन बनना स्वागत है ना गरीब का सांस स्वास्थ्य ले तोरा पानी और जय हमले पूरी को स्वाइन है सर। The project has established roadside plantation to promote greenery in Birendra Nagar. The municipality and resident of Birendra Nagar will have to work together to keep city green and clean. One hundred kilometers south of Birendranagar lies the beautiful Nepalgon sub-metropolitan city. The city comprises an area of 86 square kilometer with about 139,000 inhabitants. Nepalgons is mainly vulnerable to drought and inundation. Residents of Nepalgons are suffering from floods during the monsoon season and from droughts during the winter season. Due to inundation and drought, the people of Nepalgons have to bear loss of lives properties, crops and livestock every year. 
The vulnerability risk assessment conducted by the project has identified wards 1, 2, 3, 7, 16, 18, 19, 20, and 22 is highly vulnerable to climate change extremes. Focusing on these areas, the project has been supporting the communities by different means. The project has raised awareness of climate change and climate change adaptations, supported climate adaptive businesses, and has helped public authorities to formulate and to implement of local adaptation plans. The Ekata Women Empowerment Center in Nepalgonj Ward No. 20 has been producing small paper bags that are replacing plastic bags in some hospital pharmacies. The women of these wards who have been suffering from the flood gathers and prepare bags and sell them to the pharmacies. This group has received a seed money 75,000 rupees through the project. In a similar way as the women's group in Virendranagar, every woman contributes with 50 rupees per month to this fund. To support the production of the bags with higher quality and on larger scale, the project is planning to purchase necessary machinery. Renuka Moharzan, a resident of Nepalgon's Ward No. 10, neither had land to cultivate nor any resources except a small house nearby the city center. But when there is a will, there is a way. She thought of utilizing the roof of her one-story house for growing seedlings and saplings. She has successfully demonstrated the concept of rooftop farming and encourages people to utilize the available open areas on the house roof to grow vegetables and plant for urban greenery. After she received the grant through the project, she has expanded her nursery by renting land nearby and her business is ever growing. Seedlings and saplings from her nursery are sold not just to Nepalgon but to neighboring districts as well. Panchasil Handicraft is a group of five enthusiastic women from Nepalgons who originally migrated from a remote village in a nearby district then, which is highly vulnerable to the flood, landslide and drought. Being migrants and ethnically belonging to a group of Tharu, one of the marginalized communities in Nepal, they did not have any options to engage in work life except of continuing the traditional handicrafts that they learned from older generations. Now, this group is engaged in designing and preparing several items including decorative and household utensils from gas, car and recycled plastic. Items like dustbins, mattresses, handbags, laptop bags, tea and table trays, hot cases, pen holders, baskets and ornamental boxes are the major varieties they have been producing. Their ability to transfer valuable grass and plastics into artistic, beautiful and valuable products are truly admirable. After receiving a grant of 75,000 rupees through the project, they have been able to buy enough raw materials and necessary equipment to increase their production. Sumitra Mukhia runs the business Sibikas Mohila Kendra, which offers sewing and knitting trainings for women. She also manufactures toys and traditional dress for women and sells them to customers and retailers. When she had financial difficulties to buy equipments and clothes, 
The project supported her with the grant of 75,000 rupees, from which she was able to purchase the necessary machinery and materials. She is very grateful for the support she has received. Bir Bahadur Hamal and his team has established a compost plant in Nepalgon's War No. 18 with the help of the grant received through the project. The first lot of the organic compost is now ready. Their goal is to produce enough organic compost manure to supply the vegetable farmers in Nepalgon's. They are also seeking for more funds to secure their market and to expand their manure plant. Nepalgon's has made progress in building resilience towards climate change and has started implementing climate adaptive planning in the sub-metropolitan city. The vice mayor of Nepalgon's, Uma Thapa Mogar, believes that the awareness level of people's representatives has increased in Nepalgon's. The city has requested every wards to allocate budget for disaster management from the next fiscal year's onwards, says vice mayor Mogar. I am going to budget. I am going to budget. budget. I am budget. Everyone agrees that work has been done to build climate resilient communities in Nepal Guns. However, there still is a lot to do. Increasing population, lack of awareness, ineffective implementations of the plans are considered as a major problem by members of civil society. The <laughs> जलवायु को अवस्था मलाई लाग्छ दिन प्रतिदिन अझै बिगड्दै गइरहेछ जुन जनसंख्याको चाप बढ्दै छ त्यसमा हामी यो पटक पटक चाहे बीएनबी ग्रुप हो चाहे अन्य होस् यसले मिहिनेत नगरेको हैन तर मिहिनेत गर्दा गर्दा पनि मान्छेमा चेतना अझै पनि पुग्न सकेको छैन अझै फोहोर मैला प्लास्टिकको प्रयोग झन् बढ्दै गइरहेछ तब कुनै पनि नाला हेर्नुस् अहिले पहिला त बढी पानी परेपछि बाढ आउँथ्यो अहिले छोटो पानी परेपछि कत्रो बाढ आउँछ तर केही भएको न नभएको पनि छैन किन हामी लाग्यौ त्यसको प्रतिफल भयो मान्छे अब थैलीमा केही मान्छेहरु म हेर्छु र त्रिभुवनचोकका होटलहरु छन् पहिला लारा सुरोडमा फाल दिन्थे अहिले थैलीमा थुपारेर ट्रेक्टरमा हाल्ने गरेछ सुधार त केही न केही भएछ also in Nepal Guns, the project has established roadside plantations to promote greenery in the city. Despite of several awareness raising programs, trainings and other project activities, the excessive use of plastic bags, poor waste management in combination with untimely and poorly managed construction works have disturbed the city life. However, resident of Nepal Guns has experienced positive changes in disaster management, rescue, and relief distribution. Well, at this stage, so this year, so when the the awareness is very good, so yeah, the government, the public, the Red Cross, the or the Sangsang, the all the all the government, all the the all 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 the Project manager Mr. Basanta Gautam hopes that the project interventions will help the people of project areas to better prepare and cope with possible climate-related disasters in future. As a Nepalese, as well as as a project manager, it has been a great experience working in this project. I'm happy that we are able to help vulnerable communities in Nepal to better prepare for climate change and its impact on their livelihoods. A special thanks go to the donor that uh, is giving us financial assistance, that is Nordic Government Fund. 
we have been able to help local communities uh, through supporting uh, local businesses and we hope that we can build on in these businesses to develop uh, entrepreneurship. It was really nice working as a trainee in this project. Uh, especially the field visit was uh, really nice. I got to learn a lot of things. I got to know how the project projects are implemented in the field, uh, how to operate in the field, and a lot of things. Uh, I'd like to th thank Oxfam, uh, CEN Nepal, EDS, uh, BE Group, Arbonaut, all, all who helped uh, in this process, in this internship period. Um, this knowledge I gained from this period will be uh, really helpful for me in the future. I'd like to thank you all.